I think if you're remotely familiar with the Super Smash Bros series, you know how it got its start on the N64. From not even having Nintendo characters to having some of the most iconic characters in all video games playing against each other. And while by the time I played the game myself, I was already familiar with most of the characters in the game, it was still pretty cool to actually see who was here from the start. And I say this game definitely has to be my least played in the series and that isn't because of the game's quality at all. I just never had this one growing up and even when I did have it in 64 I just ended up playing all Korean time for the most part. And even if I did have it I still would probably not play it as much just because I didn't have a second controller and at some point you know I just ended up getting bored of the single player stuff. But I did end up playing the game a bit more later on with numerous other people and I had tons of fun with it and even as I just said the single player content I eventually got bored of, it's still pretty good here. And even with that little history lesson, let's get into the topic of the video, starting off with my first like, that being the gameplay. It's the classic Smash gameplay we're all familiar with, with tilting the stick to use different directional attacks, managing to stay in the stage, and much more. The characters here are pretty fun as well with some of my favorites in this game being Link, Captain Falcon, and while the moves aren't fully the same as they are in the Smash games, I still think the movesets are nice here. And the stages are all pretty fun to play on, and there's like one stage that does have very minimal gimmicks, that being Dreamland. I don't mind since the gimmicks here with the other stages are pretty fun to me, like I will Castle and just a bunch of other. And another part I liked about the game was the single player content, since as I mentioned, it's pretty nice here. While classic mode is pretty much the same thing every time you go through it, stuff like board platforms and target us is unique to every character and that to me is really cool just because it adds a lot of replayability since you have to study the different stages and try to perfect them and get the best time. And even classic mode is fun since you know I think it's a good time waster to get the best high score possible with each difficulty. And I also think the game's got a good roster of playable characters with pretty unique movesets and while yeah. Luigi is a clone of Mario with like maybe a few moves that's different. I don't mind since the other seven characters have nice movesets, I mean, all unique from each other. And being the first game and a 3D one at that where 3D games were just starting out, I don't mind that because, you know, again, this is just a nice set of characters. And while I don't really play characters like Samus, Jigglypuff, and Mario as much as say Link and Captain Falcon in this game, I still like to play them once in a while. I also thought the game stages were fine as well as I mentioned a bit earlier in the video. It's got some nice standouts like Hyrule Castle, Sapphire City, Dreamland, and Peach's Castle. And again, as I mentioned, the Sage's gimmicks are also pretty fun to go against like the Tenaeus in Hyrule Castle, the Pokemon that show up in Saffron City, the castles on Congo Jungle, and much more that can help turn the tide of the match. I also like the customization the game has with how you want to set matches, with how long it is, what items you want, and the amount of stocks you want. Stuff like that is nice just because you can really tailor the game to how you and maybe your friends like to play. And overall, I think how Laboratory's first go for Smash was really good. It's a really solid time and it really stood out from other fighting games, especially at the time and even now. And whether you play a friend or just do the single player modes, you'll have a decent amount of fun here. But there's still some parts of the game that I think don't really hold up today and one of them is the gameplay and to me it can feel kinda clunky. It feels a lot floatier in comparison to the other titles for when you get hit and it feels like forever for until you can move again. And there's also some missing moves here like no side special and no other kinds of slows, no pummels and stuff like that. And this kinda throws me off because I'm so used to all the other games having this stuff and in a way it kinda limits some of the gameplay since you have less options. And I understand why it's like this because you know it's on the N64, but you know I just you know can't get used to it. I also don't really like the graphics of this title, and I understand it's a somewhat early 3D game, but even for the system, I don't think it looks the greatest, especially when you compare it to other titles on the same system like Ocarina of Time and Mario 64. Some of the models just don't look the nicest. Character models like Donkey Kong and Mario look especially bad, and they just look extremely blocky, especially for the era it's been released in. I think the stages look fine for the most part, it's just that everything else to me just doesn't really look that good. There's also not a whole lot of unlockables in this entry, it's pretty much just characters, a single stage, and a few different modes that being sound test and I am select. It's nothing much, and while I do appreciate the unlockables you have here, I still wish there was a lot more stuff like trophies and whatnot. It just feels kind of empty that you can only unlock like, you know, a few stuff and that you're pretty much done and all you have to do left is just do the single player and multiplayer matches. 
And while I can kind of get it again because it's just the first game, I just kind of wish maybe you could collect trophies for the eight main characters. But again, for the time, it's not the biggest deal, it's just a minor annoyance. And I think Smash 64 is still a fun time whenever I go back to it despite its age and kind of clunky gameplay. I can get why the game ended up like this since again, it's the first go at this style of fighting game and I do appreciate all the improvements to the series. It's still one of my go-to games for multiplayer fun on the system despite having other games like Mario Kart 64 and Golden on 64. But now I want to hear what you guys ended up liking and dislike about Smash 64 and let me know in the comments below. And of course before the video ends, I'll go over my own likes and dislikes. Likes, fun gameplay, nice single player content, good boss of characters, fun stages, and nice customization for matches. Dislikes, gameplay is kinda clunky, the graphics are kinda like luster, and not a whole lot of unlockables. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Twitter, which is linked down below in the description. See you guys later.